Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough 8-Tower 2. We're getting down to the nitty gritty of the game right here. Here comes the snake blocks again! <laughs> yep. Did you think they are only going to be in one castle? Oh, <laughs> you thought wrong. And this particular snake block formation is probably more dangerous than the last one. Who would have guessed that? <laughs> I'm looking for... Yeah, here we go. A little opening to... Well, I guess I should have waited a little longer, but that's fine. Because I, I, I always like to try and stay ahead of the snake... Oh, shoot! Oh! Let's try and stay ahead of the sneak blocks if at all possible. Uh, it just makes things a lot easier to manage uh, the traps that are coming. And yes, you most certainly want that coin. You don't want to play this level more times than you need. <laughs> now there's a red ring coming up here somewhere, and also beware of spike balls. You'll you'll hear them coming. Believe me. <laughs> They scare the poop right out of you. You should probably be wearing diapers, just in case. Mm, oh, there's the red ring. Uh, shoot, I don't want to hit it too early. Okay, hit it now. Because you got to do it at about the right time. It's kind of cheap. Because it, if you hit it too early, the, the snake blocks don't go around to the spot that you need them to be for, to get all the coins. Uh, at, at least not in time. You know, you know the snake blocks always take the exact same route every time you play the level. And you most certainly want to go and take the upper route. Even though even though it could be more difficult, but I actually think it's easier than the lower route. Oh, oh boy! Uh-oh. Um, 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 um! Oh. <laughs> A valiant effort to try and get back up on track there, <laughs> I have to say. I had to pat myself on the back a little for that one. It starts you out right here, and I probably should have got my Fire Flower first, but... Eh. Uh, I might be able to, yeah. Just need to take my hands off the controls for a second to be able to do that. And if I have one hand on the D-pad, I can just follow the snake block along. And... Bloop. Just keep going, snake block. I prefer to have two power-ups, if at all possible. Thank you very much. What? You didn't one up. Oh. <laughs> well, I suppose it helps me get back on track, you know, with my low life counter. <laughs> okay, get up there. There. I knew that was coming, it just I was just a little bit too late. And you can see what it's going to do um, based off of the angle everything's going. And look out here. This is a this is a pretty tricky part. Stay just ahead of the spike ball. <laughs> and then the blocks are going to flip around and knock the spike ball off in a sort of glitchy fashion. Yeah, you see how that did that? It does that even in the real game. Uh, well, this is technically the real game, but ROM of a real game. What I mean is that, you know, ROMs typically, I should say emulation, uh, doesn't isn't always 100% accurate in how things act, but this this emulation I mean this game's emulation works pretty well, and there we go and This is it The tower with the final baby Bowser fight well, I mean Bowser jr. Fight. Hey, do you like fireballs? I like fireballs <laughs> It's not any harder than any other B uh, Bowser jr. Fight come on now. Let's be real here <laughs> Alright, now for the final castle. I'm gonna have to get a mini mushroom from somewhere in order to 100% this. So... Yes, I will save. Thank you. Now, it's actually nice to get a save point before I do the uh, uh, mushroom house shuffle, I guess you could say. Looking for an item. Well, let's just start back at World 1 to see if we can get uh, one from here somewhere, because I was being really conservative with stuff. Well, there's a save point that I could use later. I'm actually going to have to spend all um, the star coins on those save points uh, later on. Oh, there we go. Uh, but uh, that's that's I'm, I'm most certainly going to save that for um, later because you know for safety's sake and whatnot. So okay, two dash mushroom house for hopefully a mini mushroom. If not, I'm restarting. <laughs> yeah, got it. All right. And I am going to save that power up like a true cheater by going back to World 1 where I seen that 
Um, where was the signpost that I didn't open up? This one right here. There we go. Now I'm pretty much guaranteed to get through the final castle. <laughs> I should say 100% the final castle because I all I need is the mini mushroom uh, for this and then everything will be 100%ed. Well, providing I can execute this properly. Final castle is something else, let me tell you. It's probably the best castle in the game though. 8 dash, castle, spike castle, final castle, whatever you want to call it. This is it. Feel the tension in the air. That first section was pretty easy though. So, we start out with this. This is like the introductory room to uh, what's what's to come ahead. And I, oh, I'm, I'm glad it didn't replace the mini mushroom. I would have been sad. But mini mushrooms seem to stay there no, no matter what you collect. I think it's same with shells too. So yeah, this is the flip castle. And that, it creates some uh, pretty interesting little puzzles here, especially in this room. And you're going to see as we go. Just be very careful. Just take your time. Just don't let any burners get in your way. You can explore this a little bit while it's flipped around, but you won't really, you won't really get anywhere. That's the door where we have to end up at eventually, but not, not now. We got to flip the castle around to do that. And uh, let's be very careful. Yeah, look at that. Look at how tight that jump is. <laughs> right between two flame. Oh shoot! between two burners. What is in that box anyway? Probably something good. So I should probably leave it until I flip the castle around again. Okay, so we got a thwomp here. Boom! Get under it. Quick, quick, quick. Okay. Make sure it hits that to get a switch out. Now, notice that there's discoloration of these blocks here. Well, that's a hint to something. See, when you flip the castle, certain things don't exactly flip with the castle. Like the thwomp! <laughs> So if you didn't get that power up before uh, hitting that switch, you're going to have trouble getting the power up because it's going to be terribly, terribly in your way. Alright, now that the castle is flipped around, we can do some more exploring in the place. Um, I don't think I have to go up there. Uh, I do have to go down through here. Uh, is there anything to the left? I don't remember. What I'm looking for that I need to use the mini mushroom on is a really awkward jump that you cannot make without doing some really tight wall kicking. And quite frankly, I'm afraid of that jump. <laughs> because it's... oops. Because it is something that is... Quite okay. That's the first coin. The second coin is the one that requires the uh, mini mushroom. The 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 jump is that most certainly one of the trickiest around because you got to wall kick like under a corner and hit your head at just the right angle. It's 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 not impossible, of course, but it's something. Ooh, careful, the spikes. They are everywhere and in very very strategic locations. Uh, power up. That's what I thought safe block, I mean a block that you can jump from underneath is most certainly a power up, well not most certainly but usually, uh, yeah, I knew, look, that's what I was looking for. Um, if you want to take a preview look ahead you can before Thwomp start invading the area like I showed you with those discolored blocks in that other room, uh, just take a look see around here and you'll see that uh, you will not be able to get in this door because it's on the ceiling right now so we gotta flip the castle back around and when we do that the thwomps are going to invade it. Oh boy! <laughs> this place is full of traps. But it's not that difficult to get to the door, really. Just uh, play patiently. Just pick your opportunities. And I, th I like how the thwomps give you a little bit of time before they fall, so that you have a little bit of leeway um, to avoid them. Like that, that would have been practically impossible to do, that one right over there. If it was like Super Mario World thwomps or something like that. <laughs> Uh, okay, here's the room I need the mini mushroom for, so say goodbye to your power-up, whatever it is. Now, this isn't all that super, super dangerous to do beca uh, because you can just float back over to the right side if you mess it up. But if you panic, you'll end up in the spikes and you'll have to do the castle all the way over from the start. Uh, wait, 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 hold on. Yeah, it's down here. Don't run too fast, though, or you'll go right in the hole. <laughs> Wouldn't it be kind of mean if they like threw a spike ball in there while you were 
of trying to get the coin, you'd have to jump over it as Mini Mario or something like that. That would be just brutal. Alright, so now that I hit the midpoint, all, both those coins will save. Now what you're going to need is a power-up for the third one, so make sure that you do not take a hit. Um, this is one of those split pathway things, in that if you take the wrong path, you're going to have to restart the segment. I'm going to take the wrong path first, um, just on purpose, just to show you what I mean. Listen to the sound effect. Hear that? That is incorrect. And it's going to repeat the room. The correct solution is... Down, up, middle. Basically, um, the hint to which path you need to take is the more dangerous route. So, yeah. I should say the more inaccessible route, or the most inaccessible route. There's only three of these, so, yeah. It's a little reference to the uh, trap, or I should say, infinite looping castles of uh, Mario... Uh, actually, there's a couple of Marios that had that. Yeah! Got all three of them. Alright, here we go. Final boss. Right behind this door. Well, maybe not right behind. There's a little trek to it. Are you ready? Are you ready? Because the game's gonna get even more morbid. Just through the corpse and bones of his father to revive it! In super size form! Yeah, it's a double boss! Bowser and Bowser Jr. So, uh, what I recommend you do is to knock Bowser Jr. for a loop. Like, knock it out. By the way, those blue fireballs home in on you. Um, the reason why is because the big Bowser there, Bowser Daddy, will not, um, will not do his high jump until you wipe out Bowser Jr. Because you gotta make him rage like that when he does this fireball attack like that and then he starts doing his jumps otherwise you're gonna have a pretty tricky jump to get over him come on do big jump big jumping jump I win <laughs> and Mario gets another upskirt shot But, for all of his efforts, he only gets a kiss once again. <laughs> and that's it! The game is 100%ed. Little sport. well, I shouldn't say that. There, there's a little bit more that I'm going to show after the credits um, re uh, regarding the stars of your save file. In that, there's three stars that you can get on the save file, and there's... Uh, requirements for said stars and yeah um as i always say i did not make the game that these awesome people did i just made a little walkthrough for it to help and entertain people by the way here's a little easter egg for you if you click on letters depending on which letter you click on you'll hear a different sound effect and yes there is actually a different sound effect specific for each letter Oh, and uh, also this top screen here, um, if you beat the game 100% like I did, none of the levels will have new next to their photos. Like, um, a lot of people probably know this, is that when you uh, beat the level, of, I mean, when you beat the game the first time, you don't see anything um, on the credits here. It, it just shows you a little picture of all the levels of the game. Well, um, after you clear other levels, like if you don't 100% the game, then you unlock other levels after beating uh, Bowser and Bowser Jr. there. When you come back to the credits here, they're going to show you which levels are new, and it's actually, actually going to have a little new stamp onto it. So, um, what I did here is I kind of uh, circumvented that by 100%ing absolutely everything on my uh, first run through the game here, so yeah. But you know, it was for organization and all, I just wanted to uh, um, give you the details and stuff like that as I went, rather than, uh, um, uh, how do I put it, like, rather than just just to show you that, you know, the new times, or the new stamp in the credits, because it, it would be kind of pointless to just, you know, go through the game uh, and then go back to get other levels that I didn't do just to show that they're new in the credits and I have to show the credits twice and yeah, it's just not not fun walkthrough flow. <laughs> 
Oh, and uh, also the pacing of these uh, uh, photos will flip a little bit faster. I mean, the, the more levels you've unlocked and seen, the faster the uh, photos will flip through because the credits run at the same rate and uh, so what happens is when you ha have something that runs at the same rate, you gotta, if you're, if you're gonna show more to it, you gotta display them faster. So that's another thing about the credits that uh, you might not have noticed. Or maybe you did, I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, this was a pretty fun walkthrough to make. Uh, admittedly, it was pretty easy to make though too. <laughs> because I breezed through uh, most things for the most part. Even 8-8, which I'm, I'm pretty surprised at. Because that, that one usually takes me more tries than that. But I have 100%ed this game a bunch of times before, so maybe it's just uh, an experience thing that I got the hang of it. And getting the power up on 8-8 really did help. Um, you know, just to make sure that I could safely make it on that final run across that uh, breakable bridge with the kabams and stuff like that. Yeah. There's a lot of problems on 8-8 that you have to contend with to get that second star coin. But if you've played this game before, and I hope you will, or did, or do, oh, you'll know the pain of that level firsthand. <laughs> but it's pretty, satisfac um, pretty satisfying to uh, uh, pull off a win on that level, though. You know, a 100%ing of that level. Because of the sheer difficulty of getting to it, getting to the end of it. Uh, 100 percent it's just that second star coin uh, though because you know you can collect one and three in one run and then collect the second on another and I'm talking a lot about 8-8 here aren't I <laughs> um, I, I pretty much blazed through a lot of world 8 in general actually I don't just, I have no idea why everything went so smoothly but I'm not complaining <laughs> I mean even when I even when I was um, aiming for specific power-ups for up oh, there it is for that level there, uh, it was it was I was picking the uh, mini mushroom each and every time, uh, you know, in the slot machine power up thingamabob. And yep, there we are. That is the end of the credits. Bowser is KO'd. Bowser Jr. not so happy. <laughs> And here's a little Easter egg for you. Look at that on the bottom screen. LR plus A while selecting a file. You'll be able to play as Luigi. Yeah. Which I'm going to show you right here. Because I'm going to finish off the uh, game this part here. So um, going back to your save file, you should have two, st two stars. Because we haven't gotten the third star yet. I'll show you how to do that in a minute. Uh, actually, I, sh I should just put up the uh, requirements up on the screen here, rather than go uh, go over them. Because <clears throat> it's just a little bit faster to do it that way than to explain them. Uh, now, what we're looking for to do is to spend... Oh, wait, wait. Did I spend all the star coins? Because I've got, I've got 80 star coins right now. Uh, mm, mm, because over here, if you didn't notice this, this purple mushroom house unlocks when you beat the game. And in this purple mushroom house, look at this, look at this, look at this. Yeah, I did spend all the star coins. Just watch this. Now when you hit uh, this block right here, I would like to spend 20 star, oops, would like to spend 20 star coins on this. Look at that, it changes the wallpaper on the bottom screen there. Yuppers! And uh, that one on the end won't unlock until you unlock pretty much everything else. You know, spend all the star coins, open up paths, find secret exits, etc, etc. But if you do get this one, you'll know you have 100% of the game because that is the last thing in the game that you have to spend your coins on. You actually have to spend all of your star coins in order to 100% the game, believe it or not. Yeah, it's not just getting all the star coins. You actually have to spend them too by using all those signposts to save your game. Um, buying all these wallpapers, etc., etc. Any anywhere that you need to spend star coins on, you have to spend them, and you should come up with exactly zero star coins. So yeah, and uh, wait, did I just? Oh, I chose Mario, didn't I? Yeah, I did. And all stars are spent, as you see that. Yes, I will save my game, and I forgot to <laughs> to uh, uh, click Luigi. I'm going to quit because I already saved the game. And okay, so when you select your save file, hold L and R. There's all the stars on the uh, uh, save file, by the way. Okay, now hold L and R, L, R, and now press A. Luigi. You hear that? Luigi! 
And now you're Luigi! And yeah, you can actually play through the whole game as Luigi! Oh yeah, I don't think the physics are any different though, um, playing as Luigi. So it's not, uh, it's not like the floaty or slidier Luigi of other Mario games. It's just uh, a reskin of Mario, so it's not all that special, I guess you could say. But it is, you know, a little Easter egg of sorts that's, uh... Um, something to do. Oh, no, no, no! Mm, I hate that shell power-up, I swear! <laughs> it has been the death of me so, so many times. And, oh, shoot. Wait, oh, wait. The other... Oh, yeah, I don't want to break this one. Oh, I broke it! Dang it! <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Xbox D-pad. I want a ground pound. Thank you. Wait, where's the Goombas? I want Goombas. Oh, there they are. <laughs> can I still go down the broken pipe hole? I don't think I can. No, I didn't think so. Dang it! That's what the second star coin is. <laughs> if you remember that correctly. Oh, well, that's why I didn't want to break it on my first run through here. Because, yeah, it's inaccessible if you do that. But, yeah, I don't really see any difference with Luigi overall. In the... Yeah. So... Whoa, 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 I got it. I don't know, maybe he jumps a little higher. It, it's hard to tell, really. <laughs> You shouldn't have any more difficulty playing through the game as Ouija as you would uh, with Mario, I think. And that's it! The game is now 100%ed. I showed you pretty much everything aside from, you know, like random uh, secrets and stuff like that because, um, you know, the, there's, the game is just loaded with all sorts of secrets and stuff and stuff and stuff and yeah. <laughs> but. I wouldn't say the walkthrough is over because we've got mini games to do. Oh yeah, it, it, I don't really probably don't have to explain these or anything like that, but it'll be fun to show them off and give you tips on the best way to play them. I don't have to connect my tablet to do that, so I'm gonna do that in the next part. <laughs> I hope you enjoy, and I'll see you then.